Hello and welcome to another lesson in science called carbon, an important element, where we will only be doing the amorphous forms of carbon. Carbon allotropes. Now, allotropes are elements which exist in uh, more forms than one. The chemical properties being the same, their physical states will differ. Now, carbon has two types of allotropes. One is the crystalline one, diamond, graphite and fullerene are examples of those. The other one is the non-crystalline or amorphous one which we will be studying in this video. Coal, peat, lignite, bituminous and anthracite, charcoal and coke. Coal, charcoal and coke are the non-crystalline or amorphous forms of carbon. The arrangement of carbon atoms in these forms are not regular. The first one, coal, is a fossil fuel. It contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It also contains nitrogen, phosphorus and sulphur. It occurs in solid state. There are four types of coal. The first type is peat. It is the first step for the formation of coal. It contains a high proportion of water and has less than 60% of carbon. So therefore, when you burn it, not much heat can be obtained from peat. The second one is lignite. Now, peat transforms into lignite due to increased pressure and temperature inside the earth. Now, peat has a lot of water. This peat gets into the earth. There is a lot of pressure and temperature and it transforms into the second stage that is lignite. It contains 60 to 70 percent of carbon. The third one is bituminous. The third step containing 70 to 90 percent of carbon. And finally anthracite known as the pure form of coal. It is hard and contains 95% of carbon. The uses of coal. Coal is used as a fuel like this for burning in homes and factories. Used to obtain coke, coal gas and coal tar. It is also used in thermal power plants to generate electricity. The next amorphous form is charcoal. Charcoal got from animals is made from their bones and horns. Whereas charcoal got from plants is formed by combustion or burning of wood in insufficient supply of air. So two types of carbon from plants as well as from animals. The third amorphous form of carbon is coke. The pure coal that remains when we take out coal gas from coal is called coke. This is what it looks like. Uses of coke. It is used again in homes for burning to get heat as a fuel. Also used as a reducing agent. A reducing agent is a substance that tends to bring about reduction by being oxidized by taking oxygen and losing electrons. The uses of coke. 
used in the production of water gas and producer gas now what is water gas a kind of fuel gas a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen that is called water gas and producer gas is a fuel consisting largely or mainly of nitrogen and carbon monoxide it is formed by passing air or air and steam through red hot carbon so coke is used to produce these two gases a question distinguish between crystalline forms of carbon and non crystalline or amorphous forms of carbon you can learn more about the crystalline forms of carbon in the previous video the atoms of the elements in this form have a specific and definite arrangement that is in crystalline forms the diamond graphite fullerene are have a specific arrangement whereas coal coke charcoal the arrangement of atoms is irregular placed anywhere between coal and coke now coal is the fossil fuel obtained from burial of plants whereas coke is got when coal gas is taken out or extracted from coal coal burns giving out a smoke whereas coke does not produce smoke when burnt coal produces less heat than coke and coke produces more heat name the following the non crystalline forms of carbon coke charcoal and coke the form of carbon used as a reducing agent coke the pure form of coal anthracite the first step of coal formation i am sure you know all these answers now peat coal which contains 70 to 90% of carbon bituminous coal match the following anthracite the pure form of coal so it will be 95% and similarly bituminous coal 70 to 90% peat less than 60% of carbon and lignite 60 to 70% of carbon